Top TV, Truth of the People. A very good evening to you and welcome to Capital Desk Live on Top TV. When you know it's 4 p.m., we take a look at what has been happening in the world of business. My name is Abel Nikanero Masete, and as we usually do, we take a look at the financial markets as well as NSA performance today. And of course, you can engage us on our social media platforms at Top TV Kenya. You can as well tag me at Abelo Masete. And as we usually do, your feedback will be sampled as the show goes on. To start us off, is that the average earnings for workers in the private sector grew at the slowest pace in a decade last year as pandemic hit firms moved to slash salaries and adopt unpaid leave policies to contain costs. Findings of the latest economic survey by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, KNBS, shows companies raised average monthly pay by 3.82% to 67,490 shillings in the year ended June 2020, a steep drop from the 8.16% raised to 65,006 shillings the year before. That was the slowest rise in earnings since 2011, when firms raised average pay by 3.48% and nearly half of the average 7.41% in a decade before last year. Employers are warning it will take years for pay raises to return to pre-pandemic levels, with firms struggling with elevated costs largely due to uncertainties brought about by COVID-19. The Federation of Kenya Employees, FKE, said persisting instability in global supply chains and increasing global oil prices had saddled firms with the high cost of materials and further raised the cost of operation. Budget airline Jumbo Jet has launched flights to Goma in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo as it seeks expansion in the vast Central African country. Jumbo Jet, a subsidiary of the national carrier Kenya Airways, made the inaugural flight on Friday, becoming the first airline to directly connect the capital of Kivu province and Nairobi. It will be flying twice a week to Goma from its hub at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi. The company's officials say the frequency could rise to four per week if traffic permits. The flight takes two hours. That is, of course, one way. Jambojet wants to increase its fleet and link Nairobi to other cities in the DRC, but the choice of Goma as the first city is justified by the economic and tourist opportunities that North Kivu has. Of course, this news coming to you courtesy of the Business Daily. And finally, suppliers and distributors of liquefied petroleum gas, commonly known as LPG, have been allowed to mutually exchange their cylinders for a period of five years. In a gazette notice on Friday, the Energy Dealers Association, EDA, comprising of 32 small-scale suppliers and distributors of cooking gas brands across the country, has also been allowed to have their members increase their cylinder count by at least 10,000 per year, that is per depot. The exemption will see consumers allowed to exchange their empty cylinders with a different brand as long as one is a member of the association. Members of the association will also refill and resell cylinders amongst themselves. That is all we had prepared for you in today's segment of Capital Desk. Remember, we do this every Monday to Friday at 4 p.m. East African time. We tell you where to best invest your money and take a deep and in-depth look at the world of business. <clears throat> My name is Abel Nikano Romasete and see you tomorrow.